Welcome. This short eclipse is an introduction to Moodle navigation for CPCC students. In this short video, we will go over how to find CPCC's Moodle, the Moodle front page layout, and some great resources available to you via the student resources and help links, how to find the courses you're enrolled in, and how to navigate through a typical Moodle course using the navigation trail, browser back button, and jump to drop down menu. First, let's open up our browser window. In this case, we're using Internet Explorer, but Firefox, Opera, Google Chrome all work fine, if not better. My default page is the CPCC website. If you're not there, you will need to type in the URL http colon slash slash www.cpcc.edu. This is a good site to bookmark for quick access. On the CPCC homepage, scroll down until you see the green My CPCC Personalized eServices box. This logo is also a link to the student portal. Underneath the logo, you'll see a list of essential student tools. Click on the link to Moodle. You will be taken to CPCC's Moodle site. Note the basic layout is rectangular or blockish. The center block contains important Moodle related announcements. On either side are small blocks, what we'll call side blocks. I'd like to call your attention to the CPCC Student Services block on the right. These links hold essential information you will need as a CPCC distance learning student. Please take a moment to explore their content. You will also see these blocks on your personal Moodle homepage. To get to your Moodle homepage, Log in with your SNAP ID and password. You will see this button in the upper right. Once you've logged in, your courses will be listed on the left. For this demonstration, we will log in to the online student orientation course. Note, if you see a course that is grayed out, this means it is not available or closed. Click on the course title to enter the course. Again, you will see a modular, blockish course layout. Please be aware that your instructor can customize the choice of blocks to include in the class and where they are placed. Not all courses will look like this one. However, this is pretty much a standard setup. Note again, the main content blocks are the largest and in this case appear in the center of the page. The large main blocks will contain links to course content and activities. Main content blocks are organized in a topic or weekly format. Occasionally, instructors will use a social format, organized by discussion forums, but this is generally rare for CPCC courses. The top block is actually the course summary block and will always be at the top of the course. Its position cannot be changed. This block typically contains the course banner, syllabus and other information for getting started or for use throughout the semester. On the sidelines, you'll see a variety of smaller blocks that contain course utilities or tools to aid in navigation, communication, and general course usability. In Moodle, there are a variety of ways to navigate through the course content. Let's take a look at three basic methods you will probably be using the most. Okay, let's begin. Let's look at the welcome letter. Click on the words and the welcome letter opens in a course window. Depending on where you want to go, you have three options. To quickly return to the main menu, you can use the browser back button or the navigation trail at the top of the frame. To go back to the front page of the course, click on the course title. If you want to see a list of all the items in the resources category, click on the resources link. And to see a list of all the available resources and activities in the course, open the Jump To drop-down menu. You will see a visual layout of all the course content. Let's return by using the navigation trail. Finally, just a note on how you can also customize your course settings. Let's say you're halfway through the course and only want to see the assignments you're currently working on. To see only Topic 2, collapse the course blocks. Now, only the top block and content in Topic 2 display. This can save you a lot of scrolling as the semester progresses. 
There are a lot of tips and tricks we don't have time to cover here, so please feel free to explore on your own or check out the support docs at http colon slash slash docs dot moodle dot org. Have fun!